So, ladies and gentlemen, now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce you to solving trigonometric equations. Okay? When solving trigonometric equations, the pro you guys have ev all the information you possibly need. The first thing we're going to do is solve. I'm sorry, we we're solving for x. Okay? So, just like you guys have done before, we're going to solve for x. Um, so I'm going to add a 3 to both sides. Tangent squared of x equals positive 3. Right? Are we good? Yep. OK. The next thing is we don't want to solve for x. We've got to get rid of this tangent squared. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Please remember, when you introduce the square root, though, we have to make sure we include plus or minus. OK? So now we're trying to find the values of x. Now, if you guys remember, when we're saying the tangent of x equals, you know, so far I say, what is x? What does x represent? Does anybody remember? What is x supposed to like, represent? Yes, all? Uh, yeah, it represents theta, which represents the angle, right? We're looking for an angle. So just to note, when you guys are doing the unit circle, we're looking for an angle. We did this in your last test. We talked about you know, finding, the, finding the angle, finding the x. And one of the things we talked about was using inverse tangent. You can write this down if you like to. It's not really going to help you out as much. But this is what we previously did. Right? Is we talked about solving tanvert, tangent of inverse, and we did like plus or minus x. And we'd say, what angles would produce that? And if you guys remember when we did this, when I said solve for x, we used the inverse tangent to solve, right? But there was a problem with this because the restrictions for tangent inverse had to be between negative pi halves and pi halves, correct? So if you were to solve using that method, um, if you were to solve using that method, tangent inverse, there's only going to be two angles. Now, first of all, how do we even know which angle are we going to be using? Well, there's only three possibilities for tangent. We have tangent of um, pi over 6. You have 45 degrees. Or you have pi over 3 degrees, or pi over 3 radians. Now remember, the tangent of an angle represents y over x. So if I take y over x, is that going to give me plus or minus the square root of 3? No. If I put y over x, will that give me the square root of 3? Yes. So what was this angle again? 60 degrees, or we're just going to be using radians for your answers. So that's pi over 3, or 60 degrees. So it works in that one, but then it also would have to be in this one, right? Correct? So to solve this method, we'd equal pi over 3 and negative pi over 3. But now, that's what, that's what generally you guys would do before, OK? However, in the problems for tonight's homework, I am going to give you a constraint that I want the answer to be between 0 and 2 pi. I want to find all the answers, all the angles that are between 0 and 2 pi. So since you have a bracket on 0, it could be 0. It could equal 0, right. But does, zero, but does the coordinate point 0 make tangent square root of 3? No. So wait, how does, how well, first of all, the angles have to be between 0 and 2 pi. So does this negative work? No. So guess what? I'm actually not going to think about this. Even though the tangent inverse is OK, my constraint is asking me to do something different. So I'm just not going to worry about that. It's OK if you wrote it down. There's nothing wrong with it. But I know that a negative is not going to work. So I have a question. Um, yep. You said uh, pi over 3, the coordinate points is 1 half. And well, let's look at it. Tangent of pi over 3 right. is equal to y over x, right? which is equal to square root of 3 over 2 comma 1 half. If you were to multiply by the reciprocal, right, which I've done like over and over, you're left with square root of 3. Uh, okay. Now, right, so there's my one angle. So is it OK then for math purposes that I erase the other angles that I have up there, not to confuse us? Yeah. Is that OK? Because yeah. we know they're not a part of the answer. We only have one answer, one angle. And I know since it has to be between 0 and 2 pi, the negative's not going to work either. OK, here's my one angle. That is when that gives me square root of 3, right? However, the answer for all the angles between 0 and 2 pi 
not only when is it square root of 3, but also negative square root of 3. So I want to find all the angles that are going to have the same coordinate points, correct? So what I want to do is look at my reflections. Again, I have not used the inner circle. The only thing I knew was the first quadrant in the inner circle, which helped me identify just this. Now, if I reflect this about the y-axis, I get this coordinate point. If I did y over x, would that give me plus or minus square root of 3? It'd give you a negative, yep. If I reflect this now over the x-axis, would I still have negative square root of 3 or positive square root of 3 when I did tangent? And if I reflect it again, I'd have negative. Sorry, that'd be a negative over negative, which would be positive. So yeah, that's not a negative over negative in the bottom, is it? No, that's positive. Okay. There you go. So that would still be negative. Right. The, the quotient, the, yeah, the so do you guys see? Yes. Do you guys see all of these give me either positive square root of 3 or negative square root of 3 when I do the tangent mm -hmm. of their points? Does that make sense? Right? Now all we got to do is figure out what the angles are. Well, if this one was pi over 3, if I reflect it back over, the next one's going to be? 2 pi over 3. It's going to be 2 pi over 3. And you guys can confirm that on your unit circle if you want to. Um, if here, to go from here is pi over 3, if I reflect it over, then how far is it over here? Well, yeah, it's negative pi over 3, right? But remember, our angles aren't going to be negative, right? They're always going to be positive. Huh? Well, OK, so we know the distance is pi over 3, right? We're going by thirds. All the way around the circle is how far? It's 2 pi. It's 2 pi, or 6 pi over 3. three. If I'm 1 pi short, how far am I? Five pi, uh, 5 pi over 3. And then if I was just to reflect that over, how far would this be? 3 pi over 3, add on 1. Remember, remember guys, the reference angle. Remember the reference angle. The reference angle is the distance from the x-axis to the terminal side. This distance is how far? pi over 3. This distance is pi over 3. This distance is pi over 3. So let's talk about it again. Halfway around the circle is pi, right? which is equivalent to 3 pi over 3. If I have to go an extra pi over 3, where am I at? 4 pi over 3. Four pi over three. So the number of solutions between 0 and 2 pi for this equation is 4. And those solutions are pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Okay. Do you guys see how this is different? I'm just trying to make sure this is a little bit different. It's related to what you guys did in 4-8, but it's different because if you guys were to do that tangent inverse, you only would have got, well, technically, you only would have got the one answer, right? The one answer that we or actually would have had two answers. You would have had pi over 3 and negative pi over 3. But you guys can see, based on my new restrictions, that that doesn't give you all the answers. My new restrictions are all the angles between 0 and 2 pi. Well, yeah. If you look at pi, right. that point is negative 1, 0. Take y over x, that gives you 0. We're trying to get, when you do y over x, you need to get either square root of 3 or negative square root of 3. Oh, sorry. So I thought it could be able to do within the restrictions. Well, yeah, but it has to be an angle that makes, that makes the equation true. Yes, it is. It has to be one of the problems that make the equation set, work. Tangent. It has to be an angle that satisfies tangent. Okay. Because what's tangent of pi? pi? Tangent of pi is what? Pi over x. Zero, right? Is zero equal to plus or minus square root of three? No. no. So that's why it doesn't work. <coughs> yes, this was um, 